What's up everybody, John from Pause Games here. Welcome back to a new episode of Campaign Killer. Today we're jumping back into the campaign for For Honor. So chapter 3.2, Thinning the Herd, is where we left off last episode here on Campaign Killer. Uh, let's jump right through here. The army needs warriors whose specialty is victory. Kensei, sword saints, the guardians of our people. Every great ruler since the fall has trained as a sword saint. Every one. And we are formidable. Our armor is the strongest of our people. As is our will. All right, I wasn't actually expecting it to jump into a cutscene that quickly. That's why I kind of talked over part of that. So I'm just, I apologize. Uh, I try my best to not talk over cutscenes in games. Let's see. So we're being introduced to a new character, I guess. Chapter 3.2, Thinning the Herd. So I think, I think this is going to be my favorite um, section of the campaign, the Samurai Faction. Uh, knights, I mean, don't get me wrong, all, all three, or the first two were definitely fun. Um, but I don't know, there's something about the Samurai weaponry it doesn't, it's not quite as like hack slash ting off a shield. It's just like, it just, I said it last episode and I'll say it again. It just, it cuts like butter. <laughs> the web, the swords uh, for the samurais, just the katanas and all that, just, they just cut so clean and smooth and you could, you could feel it. I was the last daimyo set free in the mire. Happy hunting. Happy hunting? Apollyon thought we would fight each other to claim the Emperor's power. She was right. Every daimyo who had passed her test was a war criminal. We would tear our people apart. Or I could finish it. Before it had a chance to start. Okay, so there are three targets in all. So it looks like this is just like one big open area. Most of the ma most of the uh, game so far has been pretty linear. Although I might take that back. I'm not sure if this is a that's actually true. Yeah, no, it seems like it is. Okay, so I probably had to go that way. It's whatever. Oh Jesus. I mean, boom, still some tinging of shields and swords and whatnot, but so much better. I just, I don't know. I just feel so powerful and less clunky. I think it's also just like the fact that I feel I'm so lightweight. The samurais are just so lightweight uh, in maneuvering and all. Just, oh, I love it. All right, but then we got these freaking flaming arrows, and that's always never, that's always never fun. Uh, okay, so dodge attack. Dodge an attack and quickly follow up with a light attack of your own. So, controller batteries are low. Not the time, not the time. Every episode, I swear. Um, so you hold the left trigger, move side to side or up and down or whatever. Press A. Okay. Alright. Right out of the gate, I recognize my biggest mistake so far. I'm so dead. 
is not eliminating these stupid uh, arrows. Jesus. Yeah, see, these... Okay, so we gotta kill off these, these idiot archers. They're freaking annoying. So you could do it as... You know, you could battle as well as you want. Um, but at the end of the day, these flaming arrow archers are going to fucking kill you. So... I'm gonna try to go take a back route. Is that something that we can do here? <laughs> it's not. So the way that I went for that first one is just the way to go. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, see, this is what I'm talking about. That lightweight, clean cutting just killed, like, three people with a single, like, combo maneuver. Out here are the asshole fire archers again. There they are. How do I get up to them? Do I run across here? Oh, I'm gonna murder you fuckers so hard, dude. You're about to get so murked. All right, you want to dance, bud? Boom. All right, so all the archers are now kaputski, right? Can I just jump down from here? Yes, you can. Okay, we already went over this. And how about we do one at a time? That'd be swell. If this game has taught me anything, one at a time is too much of a concept for a lot of these. Oh, Jesus. We managed to escape and, like, all I have to do is land a single hit on this. There we go. Oh, my God. Checkpoint reached. Okay. Same thing with you. Oof. Okay. I tried to do the execution. Still suck at executions. Alright, so on to the next guy, I guess. Uh, who are you? Well, you're dead now. I don't care who you are. What is in here? Are these more arrows or something? Arrow storm. I guess I should try to use that. It's like the up, up on the directional pad. So I'm going to run through here. Slice and dice these freaking mongrels. There we go. That was so easy. Love samurai. Just gonna blaze through this little region over here. <laughs> there they are. Oh, Jesus. Not more of this crap. All right, so they're running. Come here, you little weenies. Where are they going? They're leading me into a trap, I imagine. But that's okay. Not okay anymore. I take it back, not okay anymore.
Although everybody's like half dead now. I was totally blocking that though. There we go. Checkpoint reached. Beautiful. Who are you? Back off. Did you not just see me slaughter your entire village? Get up out of here. You ain't nothing. You about to die. You're gonna die like all the rest of them. Ooh, I fell over. I'm tuckered out. Calm down. And now you're dead. Because you calmed down. She <laughs> said, told you to calm down because I was tired. You listened to me. Now you're dead. All right. So who's next? Oh my God. We ran so far away. I'm going to backtrack. Because this area should be cleared. And I think avoiding conflict right now is probably best case scenario until we get up to this last person. So let's run on through here. And we got, so we killed two of the three targets. <laughs> and now we got to run up on the third. Following a path that I assume is taking us in the right direction. But there's no way to be sure. Just following the blip on the screen. Can't go straight to it. Gotta go over the long ways. <laughs> I guess. I'm so lost, dude. I think I'm back where I started. Oh, I'm not dealing with them, though. Just don't mind me. Bye. Bye. That was probably a mistake. Yep, okay. I mean, I split them up. So that was good, I think. I am getting, like, farther and farther away, though. So um, is this gonna... Is this path gonna turn, or am I just... No, I'm just dead-ending. Out my way! Killing two of them at a time here. Just slaughtering everybody because I just don't know how to get to where I'm supposed to be going. You want to scrap too, bud? Sure. Why not? Bye-bye. Alright, so now we're going to run back this way because I'm so freaking lost. I was like actively avoiding conflict. Do you all want to die too? Sure, why not? Just actively avoiding conflict. I got lost, and I was like, you know what? Killing spree. Just murder everybody. Oh, uh, who are you now? Let's get to work, shall we? Oh, I thought I was... I thought I was still fighting somebody over here, but they were all dead. I just want to say, I actually really, really like in this game... Uh, yeah, like, they fade, but I like how their like corpses are left behind in the mud and like if you look at the ground you can actually see bodies that's actually really cool i wish they actually like you know faded from where they were if that makes sense like in the position they were at but it's fine is this the last guy where the hell am i going dude <laughs> well i just came from this direction right 
Yeah, so I'm thinking we have to go... Is this... Is through here an option? I think this is where I should go. Yeah, this looks right. I don't know. What the hell? Alright, we're closing in, though. We, I think this is where we actually started. I should have got this guy first. Out my way. Alright. So we'll keep on keeping on. Oh, we got a big boy over here. Come here, big boy. How you like some of that? Yeah? You like some of that, big boy? How about this? Ooh, boy. Woo! -hoo. Slice and dice. Woo! -hoo. Okay. There's. There's the cut. Okay. Um. So we're going in the right direction, I'm assuming, because we're getting more enemies and bigger enemies here we are uh oh ranja is pretty intense guys i got to back up oh jesus i'm dead i'm dead as a doornail okay we're back in it sort of These little attacks in there. Woo! She saw that one coming. Oh, okay. Don't die now. We've we fought so hard. I can't land a single hit. Oh no! All I needed was one more jab, and she was dead. Oh crap! Where's the checkpoint now, though? Am I gonna be lost in the woods again? Uh. Yeah, lost in the fucking woods again. Jesus. Okay. Um. So now we know we're looking for that, like, fortress entrance. I think it was through here, maybe? Our world is filled with Stupid observable that I don't care about. Okay, so it's through here. I wish we could get a better checkpoint. Like, right here, maybe. At least I won't be actually lost anymore. <laughs> okay. So that's done. Now through here... I believe I'm just going to avoid that guy because I don't care about him. <laughs> Be gone, fly swatter. Okay, so Big Hoss is back. Crap. <laughs> Tried to get the execution on that one, didn't work. So Ranja is last. I think that's how you disrespect this place. Ranja. Oh Jesus, what? Can't do that. Let's 
just gonna let that kind of kill her or take a little bit of health off of her at least maybe this is a bad angle for me like with her on the upper the higher uh, the obvious higher ground here I hate this dude I gotta get by her oh shit I'm so dead again and I have to like outrun her and there's nowhere to go yeah and we're back to running through the fucking woods again I'm pissed because that first fight I was so close to beating her where the fuck am I going now this is downright annoying now okay I think it was through here or am I lying to myself yeah okay so it was through here I'm just gonna try to run by everybody I don't know if that's gonna work I think that's probably gonna bite me in the ass but I'm gonna try it anyway like can I what happens if I run up here Is there, like, a way through that doesn't run into so many idiots that I just don't want to deal with? Doesn't seem like it. Nope, it takes me right down to where I started. Beautiful. Okay. Carry on carrying on. Skip that guy in the middle of the temple thing, or the shrine. Let's run through here. Skip all of them if possible. Probably not. They're probably going to bite me in the ass. What just happened? He's dead. Is everybody else just gonna leave me the leave me alone? Well, I'm certainly not. Yeah, because he's the last guy before Ranja, so I'm not gonna go up to Ranja until I am full health. So I'm just gonna stand here, um, make sure those two idiots down there or three idiots down there don't run at me, and I'm gonna wait for this uh, cooldown to go back, and I'm gonna revive myself. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Ranja. Okay, well, here we go. Crap. Alright, so don't... No big attacks. She knocks down big attacks. Shit. Now I can't land a single hit on her? Is that what's happening? How does that work? I just want to know. How does that work? Without any effort the first time around, I got ridiculously close to beating her, and now all of a sudden I can't land a single hit on her. There we go. We got her. Thank God. Thank God for that revenge. I had done it. Our Emperor is. 
is dead. The Blackstone Legion has done this. Apollyon wants us to go to war with ourselves. I refuse. We are being forced into a new age. Um... Vikings. Word. Okay, so that's chapter, what, 3.2? <clears throat> so again, it does seem like the uh, the samurai are definitely the most noble and honorable. Story level up, level 16. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, like, even when they're fighting amongst themselves, because of the other factions, because of Apollyon, uh, it's only done, again, it's only done so because of them being manipulated so chapter 3.3 picking up the pieces oops whoop, whoop. there we go picking up the pieces <laughs> the orochi let's do it so we are moving right along in this campaign we're in the final chapter here being the final faction uh the samurai and then uh Assuming that there's nothing after chapter three, like no final uh, mission or a final chapter or whatever, um, the first chapter, the knights, the second chapter, the, the uh, Vikings, they both had six parts to it. So we're on part three of the third chapter here, the samurai chapter. So we'll probably wrap this, this chapter up, 3.3. Depending on how long it takes, how much I struggle with it, like I did that last idiot in that last level, uh, we might hit 3.4 this episode, and then we're coming up on, you know, 3.6 being the last... I followed Apollyon's trail into the mire. I was searching for Ayu. Well, well, well. Do you know where Ayu is? So yeah, like I was saying before that cutscene started, I didn't want to talk over it. Um, but yeah, like this, we're coming up on the last, If assuming 3.6 is the final uh, level here, we are coming up on it 3.3 right now. So either this episode, or Either next episode here on Campaign Killer or the following episode will likely be the end of For Honor. Alright, so we're just reaching Ayu. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Ayu. Uh, again, just, I feel so powerful. I feel like uh, Wolverine, for anybody who's played X-Men Origins Wolverine, uh, the video game, not the terrible movie. But the, the video game, which was just so much fun. Um, maybe that'll be the next game we play here on Campaign Killer. I actually have a couple lined up, uh, but no spoilers. So Storm Rush is down on the left stick, plus A. Okay, so... I'm never going to use this. So I guess that's it. Oh, okay, so that. So you drop back and then you swing in. Again, I'll never end up using that though because 
I, I genuinely, it's gonna sound pathetic, but I genuinely don't possess the brain capacity to remember all of these commands. Like, maybe if I sank a lot of time- oh, jeez. Maybe if I sank a lot of time into the multiplayer, I might, uh, remember a handful of it, but... Ooh. We gotta finish this fight right here, right now! It's taking too long! He's one hit away from death! There he is. I say, I'm just getting beat down. I wasn't taking a lot of damage from him, but I was certainly getting beat down. Like, out of energy, out of stamina, falling over, <laughs> drunken and disorderly. These Vikings need to be taught a lesson. So now we got, like, a full squad again. I think I do enjoy the full squad missions uh, more than I like, you know, like the last one where it's just, just you basically running through and killing everybody. I like these where it's like there's a full field of enemies and a full field of my uh, comrades, so to speak. All fighting, you know, side by side with me and against a common enemy. And not just like running through. What is this guy? Get out of here. And not just running through an open field like last time, uh, hunting down specific characters. Oh, that was easy. Kill all the Viking chieftains. Alright, so where are the chieftains? I'm ignoring. Oh wait, sorry, I guess I'm supposed to go up here, right? I just was completely ignoring my objective. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Oof. Can you come down here? No, gotta go back up to you. Alright, alright. Maybe you go off the cliff this time. Maybe that'd be a nice change of pace, huh? Somebody other than me falling off a cliff. You are so off the cliff! What the fuck? Get off the cliff! Or just die. That's fine, too, I guess. Oh, yes! Start coming to me. That's so much better. I think because I wasted so much time, though, fighting down at the bottom there, um, it freed up more of my guys to come up here and fight alongside of me. Because, look, we're pushing up on them. Which is great. And because we're pushing up on them... It seems like we've got a couple of my guys that are here fighting alongside of me, which is making it easier for me to conquer these guys. We cannot fall off this cliff again, no! I just dodged for the first time ever, guys. I think this, for the first time ever this entire campaign. Ooh, I'm tuckered out, guy. Hold on, chill! Yeah. Back off. A lot of dead daimyo around here. I was stopping a civil war. Guess the Emperor was wrong about you. Our neighbors are persistent. That they are. Secure the dock. We'll meet you there. Alright, so now we're securing the dock. So I guess we're going this way. Kill the enemy forces at the dock. Okay. Secure the dock, she says. Like it's that easy. Let's do it. Let's make it that easy. Alright, first jackass. Oh, shit. Oh! 
One more hit on him. Boop. Oh my god, they're all freaking here. So this is a mistake. I'm just going to chill back here and wait for my stamina to go back up. And then I'm going to come in swinging. Oh, he blocks it though, of course. He was completely facing the opposite direction, and now he's going to block that big hit though. Oh boy. Okay, chill. Chill. Guy, you're right there on my team. Why are you no helping? <gasps> I just executed too. I landed my first actual execution somehow. Delay that order. We have more pressing matters. Say Judo, Napoleon gave him the palace. It will take more than a palace to rule our people. We will remove the pretender to the Emperor's throne. Oh, that was a really, really short level. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, could uh, we could blaze through a couple of levels here if they're going to be short like that. Maybe this is the end of the campaign. Question mark? I don't think so, but... Alright, chapter 3.4, Unity. We're certainly coming up on it. So I would be willing to bet either this episode... Well, yeah, either this episode or next episode is going to be the final episode here uh, in For Honor. Again, it does depend on how these next couple episodes go. These, these do seem to be shorter episodes, or the shorter levels uh, in the samurai chapter here. <laughs> but it is cooler, it's more, I think it's more, uh, a little bit more story driven. I don't know if I could say that, honestly. It's more narrative than previous ones, though. Where it's not just like, hack and slash. The Imperial Palace fortress within a fortress Sejuro wasn't giving up, and he had strong warriors at his side. But we had numbers. We just needed a way in. I hadn't been inside the palace in three years. So yeah, like I was saying, like the samurai chapter of this game feels like uh, it's more like objective oriented. It's more narrative driven. So like you're not just doing things for the sake of doing things. Like here, if there's a big boss fight at the end of a level, it's because you have to take them out for a certain purpose. Uh, where in previous levels or previous chapters with the knights and the samurais, it did kind of often feel like. It was just, oh, you fight this big guy, and then you go through a couple hundred more scrubs, and then you fight another big guy, and it's just hack and slashing. I don't even know if I was supposed to do that, to be honest. Bud, are you going to help me? 
You're just standing there like a scrub right now and not helping. There are two of us, and he's kicking my ass. Now he's dead. Thanks for your no help. Jesus. Alright, do I smash through this or something? No. Okay. Just to clarify. So am I supposed to go through? Oh, okay. So you go through here. So you did have to do that. My partner in crime here actually did something for once. Thank you. Finish. I'm just going to stand here and wait for my health to uh, replenish. Not actually, but you know what I mean. I got to wait for my uh, health thing to cool down. It's almost there. Then we'll proceed. Just take a breather. You did a lot of hard work back there. <laughs> the city of the samurai stands on a Sejuro has the best fighters with him. We would need that strength. All right. Oops. Ooh. Help me. Help me. Any given time. Feel free to help out here. You were standing behind him this entire time. Didn't do nothing for the cause. Oh boy. We survived. Thanks. Why do you only step in when I'm about dead? Can we talk about that? You could avoid me dying easier by stepping in a little bit earlier. If an elephant down there? Oh, okay, wait. Only the best for the emperor. Our army is on the other side. I don't think that's a very good idea. Really? This is the boss fight. We're going to be fighting a wild elephant. Okay, use your emote Y and trigger the elephant's charge. It can deal heavy damage to some elements of the environment. Probably even heavier damage if it hits me, which it will. Uh... I needed a way to get the gate open. I had an elephant. I had an elephant. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. So it's not even just elephant. It's... Oh, Jesus. Dead. Dead instantly. Instant death if you get hit by this elephant. I don't know how to evade. <laughs> it seemed like I jumped out of the way, but obviously did not. Thank you for killing that person. Alright, so I'm gonna run... And get this job done first, like I just tried to do. Elephant! Okay, one down, I think.
Ow. Fuck off. It was too close. I think we're gonna have to take out that big guy. Come on, elephant. Elephant, turn around, bud. Didn't get the big guy, though. Oh, no, it did. Is that it? That did the trick? Objective complete. Destroy the main gate. Oh, okay, so now we gotta do the same thing. Oh, Jesus, I'm dead. I'm so dead. We gotta do the same thing, but we gotta get him to run through the door now. All while Big Hoss is following me around. Maybe I can trigger this cutscene and I'll never have to fight Big Hoss. Ah, it seems like wishful thinking. Dead. <laughs> oh, God. Stop running. Big Hoss slaughters you. But I think we got a checkpoint after that last uh, objective. I think. We didn't. We didn't. Son of a bitch. So we're gonna have to big. We have to gonna have to beat down Big Hoss uh, after everything is said and done. Oh god, the elephant's right on top of me. Alright, so we're just going to trot along here and uh, maneuver this elephant. Yeah, you start taking people out, please. Yes. Get Big Hoss. No? Why? I think we're done with that door, though. Or that gate. Now we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it over here. So the gate mechanisms are now... Alright, so now we just got to run over here. We got this. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, the elephant can just walk up to you and can kill you too? That sucks, dude. So we have to kill Big Hoss. Big Hoss is... I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna completely ignore the elephant. Yeah. Come over here, bud. Alright. 
Big Hoss is just about dead here. Oh, Jesus. Crap. This stupid elephant, dude. This is so dumb. Oh, my God. I'm going to spend the entire episode just trying to freaking beat this one part. Okay. We got this this time. I feel confident. Just got to keep an eye on this freaking elephant. Bye. Elephant inbound. Can we can elephant boy freaking kill the people that I want it to kill? Is that too much to ask? This reminds me of that one level earlier in the game. I think it might have been the knight's level where you're, like, fighting off wolves as you try to kill one person. And it's the most annoying thing ever. Get this elephant as far away as possible. And now I'm going to go fight Big Hoss over here. I was trying to revive myself that entire time. It wouldn't do it. So I guess we're doing the exact same thing. Yeah, I know, but I had an elephant. Elephant, come over here. If my partner in crime could do one of these things, like attract the elephant or... Either attract the elephant or fight this fight for me. Okay, well, at least the elephant is distracted over there right now. So I just have to survive, right? Is my person over there actually doing something? Okay, so let me... There's one thing down. Uh, Big Hoss, still not dead. Thanks, partner in crime. Gotta run back here. Attract the elephant. Big Hoss is almost dead. Out my way, all you losers. Dead. Now we're gonna knock this out. All right, so Big Hoss is dead. Both of the uh, levers are now demolished. So I'm going to lower it over here now. They trample all of them. And now, Elephant, it's your turn, bug. Come on over here. Find 
say you're wrong. Checkpoint reached, but it's not even the end of the, the level, though. Uh-oh. Xbox controller disconnected. Gotta find new batteries. Crap. <laughs> okay, and we are back. We charged our controller batteries for about 15 minutes. It looks like it's fully charged. It's not actually, but uh, I think we can get through here. Um, so we're just hacking and slashing. We just broke into the castle here. I was... I have to remind myself where we're at, actually, because I was taken back for a second there. Uh, thanks to my batteries dying. So we got a bunch of big guys coming through here, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to let my squad beat him down. Ooh! Somebody just hit him. There you go, thank you. Alright, onward and upward, let's go. <laughs> We'll trot along here. So we're just pushing the enemy back to the plaza, and that's what we're... It's like, we're pretty much there already. Oh, boy. I did not even realize that I was pretty much dead. Pushing the enemy back to the plaza, that, I mean, we're done. That's... Oh, Jesus. These stupid flaming arrows, dude. There's a gnat flying around my face. There are flaming arrows falling from the sky. Where am I going? Am I going to take out these archers? Yeah. Fuck off. How about that? Cash me outside the plaza. How about that? Okay, are there multiple people that are beating me? No, it was just my guys. Awesome. Serpentine! Serpentine! Where are they? I imagine the archers aren't going to be super skillful with their, uh, you know, swords as much. Okay. Fine, Sejuro. I feel like it should, it should just say Reach Cesaro. Because, like, it says on the map where they're at, right? So it's, you don't really have to find them. Ooh. Come on, big hoss. Come here. What? How did that not... How did my heavy attack not stop your little... Your attack? Boom. Big Haas is down. What are you guys up to? He's dead, dude. You're just... champion will defeat you the Emperor's champion is rotting in a cell in the lower city it's you the champion that's betrayer hero more like Great 
I thought we were trying to get him on our team. I thought we were putting a team together. I thought this was a heist mission. And now we're just beating him down? It... Ooh. Okay. He's pretty good. But not as good as the Emperor's Chosen One. Commander Sejuro. You dishonor me. We need you. You are a great warrior. I won't serve beneath you. Then slay me. Take my place. Command our armies. You've gone mad. Apollyon did this to us, not Sejuro. I will not fight the Legion's war for them. I'm going to Ashfeld. Our enemy is there. Alright, so that's the end of chapter 3.4. So that's where we'll wrap up this week here on Campaign Killer. Uh, story level up to 17. Beautiful. So we'll blaze through here. So yeah, the plot is getting thicker. Uh... Again, I, I, I do enjoy this storyline the most, I think. Um, they're trying to basically unite all of the samurai kingdom to uprise uh, against, you know, the corrupt knights and vikings. And I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, so far, samurai, only honorable faction in the game. So next episode here on Campaign Killer, we'll jump into chapter 3.5 and then chapter 3.6. And that might wrap up. Uh, the story mode here in For Honor, which is exciting. We're coming, we're coming up to the end here. The big finish for the Samurai faction. Uh, but with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel in the future. And uh, when I upload and premiere new video content such as this, new episodes of Campaign Killer in For Honor and in many other games in the future. Make sure to smash the like button on this video uh, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, this and every video uploaded to the Pause Games YouTube channel is to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research. If you want to learn more about the project and what we're doing to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, jump on over to our website at pause.tv. That is P-O-Z-Z dot TV. That's our official website where you'll find all the information as well as a really cool merch store where you can buy Pause branded merch where a portion of sales go directly to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. But with all that said, I'm John from Pause Games. Thank you so much for watching.